Hey guys, it's Emily and today I'm going to be doing the cozy autumn book tag. So I was tagged by Mary from Mary Among Stories to do this fun book tag that was created by the Book Bell. I'm sure you've seen it going around. I will link both Mary's channel as well as the creator's channel in the description box down below if you guys want to check them out. But I am so excited to do this tag because fall is my favorite season and so I'm always super excited to do all the fall things. So this tag is just the perfect opportunity for me to answer some questions about my favorite season. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first question is what book always reminds you of fall or autumn? And the first one that came to mind for me is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. So if you're not familiar with it, this is a gender bent Sherlock Holmes retelling that follows the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. And I don't know what it is, but this book reminds me a lot of autumn. It might just be because of the setting. This is set in a boarding school in Connecticut and I believe it takes place during the fall season so that might be why this book reminds me so much of autumn but this is a fun YA mystery thriller series and I really love it. I feel like it's kind of underrated especially compared to like Truly Devious and stuff like that but it's such a good one and if you're a fan of the original Sherlock Holmes stories I feel like you would really enjoy this one especially this first book because the culprit in this book recreates the original Sherlock Holmes stories and so if you've read the original stories you have a lot of fun reading this because you see a lot of similarities between the characters but also the stories within the book. So I had a lot of fun reading this series and I would highly recommend it. Question number two is what is your favorite autumnal book cover? And the first one that came to mind is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. So I don't know if you can tell but the color scheme, this cover just screams autumn to me. They're like deep red and the yellow and like even the earthy tones of like what our main characters are wearing. And then we have Lady Death on the cover as well. And overall I just feel like this is such an autumnal book. I've read it recently and absolutely loved it. And if you're looking for an urban fantasy YA with a super sweet romance and just like characters that you will fall in love with, this book is absolutely amazing. It made me cry. It made me laugh. It just is everything that I could have wanted. And this book highly deserves the praise that it's been getting right now. So highly recommend it as well. So question number three is what is your favorite autumnal drink to read with? So my drink of choice is hot chocolate because I just love hot cocoa, especially during the colder months. It's not necessarily something that I always drink whenever I read, but if I have to make myself like a hot drink, hot cocoa it is for me. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know this. You know how much I love my hot chocolate, and so I wouldn't go without it, especially with this new mug. It's like a Disney princess mug, and I'm absolutely in love with it. And there's just something that's super cozy and warm and makes me very fuzzy about hot cocoa. I love sweet drinks, so this is a drink of choice for me. Question number four is, do you prefer to read late at night or early in the morning? My answer is going to be neither. I am not someone who loves to read in the morning. I am an early bird but I like to start my work day very early on so I typically don't get any reading done in the morning but I also don't love staying super late at night. I will get most of my reading done at night so I'm going to go with at night but not necessarily super late. I usually go to bed at around 10 or 11 p.m. depending on the day and how tired I feel so I guess my answer is kind of neither but if I had to choose one it would be at night simply because I feel like I really get to immerse myself in the story and I just feel like I get more reading done at night and I just feel really more cozy and ready to go to bed when I read. But I do also love to read in the morning on weekends. So honestly, it depends. But I guess most of the time I get a lot of reading done at night. Question number five is Halloween is coming. What is your favorite spooky read? I'm not someone who loves to read spooky books, but the first one that came to mind is The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This book was so atmospheric and this is why I love it so much. Basically, we're following our main character who lives on an island where there's a curse. Three witch spirits will take the bodies of three girls and lure men to their death. And I loved this book so much. It kind of surprised me how much I enjoyed it because I'm not someone who loves spooky stuff and I wasn't sure I was going to like this one, but it's so good. The writing was absolutely amazing. So atmospheric and I never saw the ending coming. It was such an amazing read. If you're looking for something that's kind of spooky and eerie, but not necessarily scary, I highly recommend it. It's kind of like fantasy, but not high fantasy. So it's perfect for fall and Halloween time. So question number six is what is the ultimate comfort read for you? I kind of hesitated because I have a lot of favorites that I could consider to be ultimate comfort reads but I had to go with my all-time favorite which for me is Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So I know what you're thinking. This is kind of a recent release. How can it be my all-time favorite book? Well, I read it three times last year and it came out last year. So I just love this book so much. It gives me everything that I could want in a book. So if you're not familiar with it, this follows the love story of the first son of the first female 
original American president and the Prince of England and it's absolutely amazing. It blew my mind. I just, I loved it so much. It makes me laugh. It makes me cry. It makes me emotional. It just, it's everything that I could want. And whenever I'm in need of something that I know I will love and I'm just looking for a book that will comfort me and just whenever I'm looking for something that will cheer me up, this is the book that I am leaning towards and I kind of feel like I need to repeat this again this year. I don't know what it is about it. I just really love it. And if you guys haven't read it yet, what are you waiting for? It is so good. It deserves all the hype that it gets. Question number seven is what is your favorite autumnal reading snack? I kind of suck once again because I don't have an answer for this one. I'm not someone who snacks a lot when reading. I love to snack, don't get me wrong, but I don't like to eat what I'm reading, mostly because I don't want to get my book dirty. And also just, I feel like it's kind of inconvenient because I need my hands to read like a physical book, but I also need my hands to eat. So I never know really how to eat a snack with my book and I'm someone who's very clumsy so I tend to like drop things and I don't want to get my books dirty so um I don't really have a go-to reading snack and even if I went more broad and just like my favorite autumnal snack I don't really have an answer for that like I'm a snacker but I don't have a go-to answer for like seasonal snacks so I guess I'm not going to give you an answer for this one question number eight is what is your favorite candle to burn whilst reading so I'm not someone who will necessarily have a go-to candle I don't have a lot and so I just tend to burn the ones that I own and I also also don't burn a lot of candles while reading like I will burn candles whenever I feel like it but I don't necessarily have to light a candle in order to get productive and get some reading done but one candle that I do really like during the fall season is this one it is the warm apple wood candle from Free Passion. I'm not too sure this is what it looks like as you can tell I've burnt it quite a bit but this one smells so good as the name suggests, it smells like apple and it's absolutely amazing. It's perfect for fall, especially like the beginning of fall when you want to go apple baking. I just love to burn this because it reminds me a lot of autumn and it makes me feel very cozy. So this is one candle that I really like to burn. Question number nine is when you're not reading, what is your favorite autumnal activity? So for me, I have a variety of activities that I like to do when I'm not reading. But one that I really like to do, especially during the fall season, is going on walks in nature with the absolutely beautiful weather that we get and like the fall leaves changing colors and falling down. I just love walking in nature, especially during the fall season. I love walks in nature pretty much all the time, but mostly during the fall because it's so stunning. Like the scenery is absolutely beautiful. Such beautiful nature, especially at this time of year. And so I love walking in nature at this time of year. And the final question is what is on your fall reading? list. So I have a whole video dedicated to that. So I'll link it up above as well as in the description box down below if you guys want to check that out. But here are some of the books that are on my radar like at the moment, like the ones that I'm most likely to get to in the upcoming weeks or even days. So the first one that I have is Kidnap on the California Comet by M.G. Leonard and Sam Segman. This is a sequel to The Highland Falcon Thief, which I read during the Adventures Through Wonderland Readathon and I absolutely fell in love with it. It is one of my favorite middle grades that I've read and this is a sequel. So I'm very excited to read that. I'm probably going to read it during Believeathon in November, but I'm really looking forward to that one. Then I have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I keep talking about this book and I swear to God I will read it at some point, but uh, this is like a mystery a romance. I'm not sure. This is kind of a classic and there's a movie adaptation coming out soon. So I'm really hoping to read it at some point in time, hopefully this season, but this is definitely something that I really want to get to soon. Then I have Serpent and Dove by Shelby Meherin. This is supposed to be this witchy book set in France in the 1800s, I believe. It's a love-hate relationship between this witch and this witch hunter. I'm very excited to read it, mostly because I know it divides people in book two. People either love it or hate it. So I'm quite curious to see on which side of the balance I'll fall on. I think this would be perfect for fall because of the witchy vibe. And finally, I have Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This is something that I've actually started during my last Rory Gilmore 24 hour readathon. I made it to the halfway point or a little bit past that and I'm really hoping to finish it. So I guess that's it for this tag, a short and sweet video. I'm not going to tag anyone simply because I feel like everyone has done it. But if you haven't done it and you have not been tagged, I tag you. So once again, thank you to Mary for tagging me and also thank you to the book bell for creating this tag. I will leave both of their channels linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!